best things about a roast chicken are the wonderful aromas, the gorgeous brown little package as it comes out of the oven um, when it's roasted well, and then that delicious crisp skin. The first thing you want to do to get really crisp skin is to let the chicken thaw or dry overnight in the refrigerator uncovered. To get our bird ready to roast, putting some stuff inside the chicken is helpful not only for making a good sauce afterwards, but also keeping moisture inside the bird so that the bird doesn't dry out as it, uh, as it cooks. And then if you can, without breaking the skin, work your fingers in a little bit underneath the skin. This will help create a small air pocket that makes the skin extra crispy as well. Now let's trust this girl. Take the wings, stick them underneath the neck section like that. Come down underneath the neck, over the wings, over the drums, down around the leg and then wrap around the leg point. And then tie these two legs together up tight against the breast. That will help keep the breast moist while the crisp skin comes gets crisp. I like to make a little bow because it's easier to remove later on. Then slather a whole bunch of butter on the skin. Place it on a rack if you have one or a sheet pan if you don't and a very liberal amount of both salt and pepper. A tablespoon of salt on the outside of the chicken for a small bird like this three pound bird. Then you want to cook it at 425 degrees for an hour to an hour and a half. And then finally the thing that you want to do is to let it rest for a good 15 minutes after you're done uh, roasting it in the oven so that the juices go back inside the meat and the skin has a chance to even crisp up some more. So um, that's simple roast chicken.